Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to convert your data to CSV file and download that file like this in React.js. Let's start. Here I am going to click this download me button and here you, you will get a CSV file. I am going to open this. Here I already gave this content in CSV. Okay. Let's start. Here I am going to use this npm package React CSV. Okay. First copy this and install in your project. Here I already in installed this package. Yeah, and I'm going to copy this line. I'm going to import this npm package here. And after that, I'm going to copy this CSV data array of array. And I'm going to copy these lines too and paste it here. I'm going to remove this and this too. And yeah, first I comment this line, and here this is our CSV title, first name, last name, and email. And this is our content I mean, this is first name, and this is last name, and this is email. You can dynamically change this content, okay? And I use the CSV data here inside the data. First, I save this and go to browser here. We got a download me button. I mean, this CSV link. CSV link is like a link. Okay. If you click this line, sorry, button, you will get a CSV file. Here, CSV is downloaded. First name, last name, and email. And I'm going to change this first name to name one. And this is name two. Okay. And save this and go to browser and if I refresh and I'm going to click this and here I got name 1 and 2 and this is email okay yeah CSV link is like a href okay and you can able to change this link style is also I'm going to use this download CSS I already imported that CSS file here I'm going to add a class here and, and save this here button style is changed I mean CSV link style is changed. If I click this button, here we got same CSV file. Yeah, I'm going to comment this line and I'm going to uncomment this and save this and go to browser. Here, I don't get any button or anything. Okay, I'm going to close this and if I refresh this page, here CSV file is downloaded. Use of this CSV download is when page is refreshed data will get downloaded I mean CSV file will get download and here you can able to use a array of object is also okay copy this and go to VS code I'm going to add content after this and I'm going to add a const here and I'm going to copy this and this is title okay this first name last name and email is title yeah I'm going to change this first to first name to first I'm going to copy this and same as this and yeah it should be same I'm going to comment this line and I'm going to uncomment this and I'm going to copy this data and change the CSV data to data and I'm going to refresh this page here and if I click this button here we got CSV file this is first and last name and email this content okay yeah, this is what I try to tell in this video. Bye-bye.